goes through your head realizing he's got wife and kids at the house, he's practicing and has this deal? Yeah, no, I think just seeing him bolt, right, and, and go take care of what he's got to take care of right now. Uh, obviously, he's a prioritized guy, and, and he's going to take care of it. So you hope that uh, hope everyone's safe, happy, and healthy, can get out of there, and um, you know just allow for family to be safe, so that your home is good, so that you know that's the priority in all of this, right? This is a workplace; this is what we do for a job, but that's that's obviously well-being. So uh, you definitely have prayers for that family that they can get out, and um, Terry can go back and, and take care of business there. You're so good at having perspective, not only on the game of football, but outside of football. Seeing something like this, you know, what's your biggest takeaway? Man, it's a shock, right? It's it's something that catches you off guard a little bit. Uh, you don't think that it's ever going to happen to you till it does. So, um, you know, that's something as a team we got to be able to come together and make sure that t we we can reach out to Tyreek and be human beings with him, right? And make sure that um, everything is squared away and we can do everything we possibly can to help our teammates. So. Um, that's the human element of this locker room. I think that's what's special about this locker room is we actually do care uh, about each other outside of the building. We've been there. We've taken care of one another. So um, that's just another step in, in being good teammates and human beings to one another um, in this organization. Let's talk about Sunday. Big one. So much excitement for the actual game. But uh, what do you say calm? Because it's a late, late kickoff on Sunday. Yeah, I had a, a wise high school coach, uh, Gary Westman, once tell me, um, you know, it's a slow build. Right, you you can't peak too high, too late. It's a slow build. We've we've had a number of different primetime games and opportunities. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, man. You get extra time to review that that play call sheet, dial in on those details a little bit more, and then by the time kickoff goes, man, I'm going to be I'm going to be locked and loaded, and so will the rest of the guys. So it'll be exciting. You guys are special at home. You win here all the time. How much of an advantage is that knowing that the Bills kind of had your number the last three times? I think it's a collective belief, right? We've we've shared in all of those experiences, the wins, the losses. We've learned from all these opportunities throughout the year. Um, so this is the next one. It's the it's the biggest one because it's the next one. It's the, the regular season finale. So I think it's a great opportunity for this team to be able to get right, to go back uh, and uh, do what we know what we can do and um, just be at our best. You know, and I think that's that's what everyone is going to be gunning for. And I think if we do that, we got a shot.